Hey yeah, everybody. Um, basically, I uh, when I did my video on my mini virtual pinball machine, I said something about uh, doing a uh, video for pinball. Uh, why? So I figure, hey, why not? Um, no pun intended. Um, so pinball, why is a pinball launcher? Um, there are three main players out there that most people know about. Uh, in the virtual pinball community. So you have uh, Pinball X, you got Pin Up Popper, and the other one is Pinball Y. Uh, pinball Y hasn't gotten the uh, same large following as the other two. Um, I'm not sure. Um, not sure why. No, no pun intended again. But uh, it's a it's actually a very good launcher. Um, it's very quick. It's very responsive. It's very uh, it doesn't take up a lot of resources on your machine. Uh, pretty much gives you everything you need. It might not have might not have all of the fanciness of the uh, Pinball X and Pin Up Popper, but it's, you know, to each their own. I really don't want that. Um, uh, I can tell you that it's the uh, I've used all three. Um, I was uh, pretty much primarily using uh, Pinball X on my machines, and um, I've switched them all to Pinball Y. Um, it's just so much easier to use, in my opinion. Um, and I've uh, it, it runs, uh, in my opinion, smoother, faster, and uh, much more responsive. Um, so basically, I'm going to go through and uh, just show you um, where to get the software. Um, down, you know, download it, set, install it, do some setup. I'll show you some of the features of it. Um, uh, basically, uh, we, I'll even show you like uh, downloading a table from, you know, from new and you know how to set that up, um, how to set up your existing tables and so forth. Uh, this is uh, so this tutorial video that I'm just putting together. Uh, first off, I'm no expert in pinball. Why I'm still learning as I go, so I may flub up some things here and there. Um, so just for how the bat, I haven't been using it that long. It's uh, less than a month. Um, but uh, this uh, this little how-to video is expecting that you're already going to have your emulator set up. So you already have Visual Pinball set up. Uh, Future Pinball or FX two or three, um, those already exist on your system. I'm not going to go in through the whole spiel of uh, what it takes to set those up. Uh, if you want to watch some really good uh, tutorial videos on that, I recommend uh, Terry Red's uh, videos on YouTube. Um, let me go ahead and uh, turn off the webcam. You don't want to see me anyways. Uh, basically, here's uh, Terry Reb, what, uh, Terry Red's um, YouTube page, and if you scroll down here, you'll see uh, this here section called uh, Virtual Pinball Essentials, and he's got a ton of videos uh, here, and they are all well worth watching. Uh, the start here video is definitely, uh, you know, you can see my mouse cursor here. I try to expand this out a little bit. There we go. This start here. Uh, this is th this is definitely a must-watch, have to for anybody who wants to get in virtual pinball. Um, of course, the visual pinball and then the future pinball part one and two. Those are, you know, if you want to do if you want to do virtual pinball, you want to get in this hobby. You really want to. Uh, you know, learn everything you can right there. You can start by just checking out those. Those right there will help out tremendously, um, getting you going and so forth. So, basically, uh, the long and short, I'm not going to go into the whole um, how to install uh, Visual Pinball, Future Pinball, all that stuff. As you can see here, I got, I have. Uh, you're seeing both of my screens, uh, so. Basically, I set up a, a quick computer. This is uh, not my everyday cabinet. Uh, this is not, not any one of my current virtual machines, my mini or my full cabinet. What this is, is this is just, uh, uh, what I did is I just took a laptop and I took a spare display and I just created a quick two display setup. So that's what we have here. 
Uh, I don't have a lot installed here. So if we go here to pinball config files, you'll see I have visual pinball installed. And when I go into there, tables, I have a big whopping one table, which is uh, Medieval Madness. So that, that's what we're working on right now. I just, like I said, I just put together something real quick. Okay, so um, with all that being said, like I said, I'm going to assume that you've already got um, you've already got all your emulators set up. You've tested them all out. You've gone in here. You've uh, gone into Visual Pinball. You've fired off the emulator here. You've loaded up your games, and you tested everything out, and everything is is basically uh, working fine. That's that's and and Terry Red's video. That's you know basically that's that's you have to do this before you even bother playing with a launcher at all. The launcher is the icing on the cake. Okay, so let's talk about Pinball Y. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to open up uh, you know your favorite web browser. It doesn't matter which one it is. Um, you're going to come in here and. Uh, you know, you're going to use your best search engine, which is uh, Google. And uh, you're going to go in there and you're going to search for Pinball Y. Now, what's going to come out here and say, did you mean Pinball X? No, you mean Pinball Y. <laughs> and the uh, website name is mjrnet.org. So, um, Besides, uh, besides Pinball Y, if you go to the Pinscape resources home here, you'll find out that basically, you know, there's a lot of things here. For, you know, first off, you know, there's, uh, you know, some software for uh, open source plunger, nudge, feedback devices, so forth like that. There's uh, expansion boards. There's the Pinball Y. There's a program here called Pinval, uh, Pin Affinity, and then he's got his own little build guide here and so forth uh, so there's a lot of data here and it's worth checking out uh, especially if you're getting into this hobby you know it's, I, I'd say check out everything this guy has on his uh, uh, on his website because he's he's giving a lot to the community what we're going to concentrate on right for this uh, video is pinball Y so we're going to come in here basically in the latest beta which is 1.0.0 beta 24 which was released May 31st um, so you can read all about this it has this nice cool little screenshot video right here which you know tells you a little bit about it it also has links here besides the downloads you got the uh, he has his own he's got the installation documentation community links all of this stuff is is I say you want to read all of this Anyway, if you're going to use this launcher, you want to read everything. You want to gather up everything that's out there. Um, you know, gather up whatever you can. So, anyways, we're going to keep scroll down and down here. You got your download section. Uh, you can you can download this as a zip archive, but I you know, I just do go ahead and just download the uh, installer. Um, if you have a 64-bit system, which pretty much, I, I'm going to be honest with you, if your computer was pretty much bought any, any time in the last few years, last two, you know, I would say almost practically the decade here, it seems like, uh, it's going to be probably 64-bit. Uh, you know, you're not finding too many 32-bit computer systems out there anymore. So the benefit of the 64-bit, uh, he highlights it here, is it runs faster, and also it's uh, required if you're going to do 4K stuff. So if you got 4K displays in your system, you got to run 64-bit. It's pretty much that's it. Game set match. So we're going to click on Windows Setup, and that's going to go ahead and install it. As you can see, I've got this already downloaded, so I'm not going to download again, but. You know, you would download it and you would save it out there. Uh, I recommend um, somewhere in your downloads folder. You know, you create yourself a nice, um, you know, a nice little hierarchy of basically how you want to keep things organized. Because trust me, as you start downloading a lot of tables and a lot of media and things, and there's a lot of different flavors of tables, uh, you're going to want to have some sort of nice structure. 
Uh, here's just a basic structure I set up where you have tables, media, programs. Uh, inside the tables folder, you got your VPX and your FP. And then I would recommend inside here, um, you know, you basically you create a folder, you know, like uh, maybe you have one like, uh, you know, installed and maybe you have another folder, you know, called, you know, like not not using you know and uh, and then create another one called like new uh, because basically uh, you want to just keep things organized and if you don't do this you'll you'll easily uh, this stuff will get kind of messed up and get lost all right so basically inside the programs is where I keep uh, all my various different program downloads um, it's very important also to not like shorten these names out like where it says pinball Y dash and it has that their nice date stamp right at the end. You don't want to come in here and change this date to you know something like you know or change this file to something like pinball Y. Then you don't know really what version you're running uh, or what version you have installed. It's, it's always good to have these these things and that goes for tables as well. Okay, that's, uh, that's enough of that. And we're going to come in here. I'm going to go to my pinball files, go to programs. I'm going to find my pinball Y. I'm going to double click on it, get this nice little security warning message because Microsoft thinks everyone's an idiot. And we're going to say run pinball Y setup. And basically, you just click next. At this point in time, you're going to select where you want this installed to. Um, I recommend that you have your setup kind of set up like I have uh, something similar to like what I have. So I have a folder here. It's called, uh, you know, this folder here is called Pinball. And then inside here, I have all my, I'll have all my various pinball programs. So I have a folder called Visual Pinball. I have another one called Future Pinball. And I'll have my launcher and then whatever else is pinball related, all structured underneath it. Uh, I recommend that's a good way of just doing it. Uh, you don't necessarily have to call it pinball. You can call it games. You can do whatever. But it's a it's a good practice to, to have and set up. All right. So I'm going to basically, I'm going to put this right underneath my pinball folder. And I'm going to click Next and install and this is going to copy new folder files blah 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 it's actually a very quick install as you can see it's well, it's done already so click finish and voila we have pinball y installed so the next thing we want to do uh, at least in, in, you know in my opinion I want to, you know just like I have this nice shortcut here that's going to my setup files you know my configuration files I'm going to right click on the desktop area and select new shortcut. And then I'm going to browse to where Pinball Y is installed. And as you can see, when I browse there, you have uh, two executables. You have the Pinball Y.exe and you have this Pinball Y admin mode.exe. Um, the developer, um, uh, first off, you don't have to run the, uh, I know a lot of uh, pinball guides that a lot of people will say, hey, if you're having problems with uh, whatever said program, run it in administrative mode. Uh, th this developer of the software highly recommends you don't do that because it's not really a good practice. Uh, but he has this here thing called admin mode. If you, if for whatever reason you do run into some sort of problem, you can run that. I've never ran, uh, never ran this. I've never had a need for it. Uh, I always just use the regular uh, pinball y uh, executable, the .exe here. Okay. So then we click next, and I'm going to take out the .exe, and this is just going to be called pinball y. And I'll finish, and now I got this nice fancy icon right on my desktop for launching Pinball Y. Speaking of launching Pinball Y, I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And voila! You get your first dose of Pinball Y. 
So if you're like me, when the very first time I ran this, the, my first thoughts was, is what the hell is going on? It looks like my uh, computer just threw up a bunch of screens. Um, and in kind of sort of way it did. So how Pinball Y does this is um, basically they give you all the options, you know, all at once. It shows it all displayed on once. And then you just kind of drag and drop these onto your displays in your cabinet. So for example, first thing I'm going to want to do is take my Pinball Y back glass and I'm going to drag and drop this guy right here where so this is my back glass display. So I'm going to have that right there. Um, here's my topper, right? So if you have a topper display, uh, some people have a topper above the back black ugh, back glass. I can't speak today. Um, if you don't, you have a choice. You could, um, now if you wanted to, you could put it like, you know, you know, once you get your back glass expanded here, you could have it like displaying here at the top. You could actually adjust these windows to where you have just a little bit showing, you know, if you want. Um, or you could just right click on it and just say hide it because you just don't need it. Um, this is the instruction card. Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with, uh, some people actually believe, uh, you know, they have some really nice cabinets, um, and they have, actually have displays right there at the front of the play field where they have, you can do visual instruction cards. Um, I don't have that on my, my cabinets, <laughs> but some people do. Uh, I've seen some people put it, um, uh, kind of sort of in the front of the cabinet, like instead of where the coin door is, you have a display there, and, and you would have this instruction card there. So once again, uh, this can also be resized. You know, you can put it wherever you want. Um, you know, it's, it's all up to you. If you don't need it, you right-click on it, and you hide it. Next thing up we have is the, uh, this is the DMD. So once again, uh, just... Same theme, if you have an actual DMD display, you know, you would have that out there. You know, you can actually put it to where it just displays on part of the back class. It's really up to you. Um, in this case, I have a two, uh, I have just a two, dis, uh, two screen setup. When I do my, when I show you the screen capturing, I'm capturing the, the, uh, the DMD uh, that I have set up. And with uh, Visual Pinball, I got the uh, Freezy uh, DMD. Um, so basically, I'm just going to capture it with the back glass display. Uh, so I don't need this uh, separate DMD window. Okay. And that leaves us the one, the window here that's called Pinball Y. And that is actually the only one that's left that we haven't talked about. That is the actual play field. So you want to have that basically where your play field is. Now that you have your, you know, things, these windows positioned on the screens that you want them to be, all you have to do is uh, you right click on it and you click full screen and there, voila, you get this nice ugly bulb thing here for back glass. These, these uh, default images can be changed if you, if you want and I can show you where to change those. And we do the same thing for a play field. You know, we're going to click show full screen and voila. Essentially, at this point in time, we have Pinball Y ready to go on uh, a two screen cabinet. So you're wondering why I'm getting this thing here. It looks like an explanation point and all these like little uh, error messages. Well, the reason why I have this, uh, I'm getting this particular error message is because I don't have Pinball Arcade set up. I don't have Pinball FX3. I don't have Pinball FX2 and, and so forth and so forth and so forth. So, basically what you have to do is you have to go into the options and disable the systems that you're not using. And uh, so I'll show you how to do that right now. So I'm going to come up here on the back glass. I don't know if you see the, my cursor here over here by the little caution sticker. Uh, right click and right here I'm going to go ahead and select options. And that's going to pop up the option screen. And then you got down here where it says systems. 
And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to highlight each one of these systems. And then you see where it says enable right here? It's got that. You just, if you're not using it, you just uncheck the enable box. So I'm not using any of these, so I'm going to just uncheck them all. Pinball Arcade, FX3, and FX2. And we're going to hit apply. And um, I got this uh, when I was doing a test on another system. I got this error uh, on it too. I can't remember exactly how I fixed it. Um, if I can remember by the time I then end up doing this turtle, I'll let you know. But I only got this on one other system. And, I, and strangely enough, the other system that I got that on was similar to this, where I had Future Pinball installed at one time, and I uninstalled it. And I'm wondering if this is picking up some residual Future Pinball uh, stuff out there. That's why I'm getting that message. Um, either way. Okay, so we're going to go back to options here. So I'm just going to go down through all these real this uh, whole option menu here. So that way we because uh, we need to we need to set up all of this stuff anyways. This is basically once you get your screen set up, this is the very next thing you're going to want to do. So a track mode. This is where you can you can either enable it, disable it. This is where you set all your track mode settings. If you want to have a a message to say whatever you want it to say. Uh, that's where you set this up. This is where all the track mode settings are. Um, audio visual. Now, uh, so the audio and video settings for this are for uh, Pinball Y only. It's not the uh, emulator. It's not for visual pinball, feature pinball, or nothing. So uh, this is so if you find the button sound effects to be obnoxiously loud, uh, you can either mute them. Or you can just turn down the volume a little bit. This is your button setup. So this basically this is everything inside uh, Pinball Y. So if you you know start button that is essentially uh, that's uh, starting whatever um, and that's like entering the different menus and so forth. Uh, you know in like your uh, your emulators, that's what you're going to use to uh, start the table. And then you got your, usually your launch button is your, you know, your ball launch or you're pulling back the, the you know, I can't think of the word the word is. Anyways, Paul, <laughs> that's basically what that setup is. So basically, this is where you can come in here and tweak it. So basically, if you're, um, as you can see the option here, you got this little X and this plus. The X will be if you get want to get rid of it, and then you can just kind of put in whatever you want. Um, you know, you can also add in multiple. You can add in like multiple keys, which I think is kind of cool. So, like if you want, if you want like two or three different keys to do that same function, you can set it up. Um, so that's it's real simple to basically change these. All you have to do is just click on them. And then you just basically select, you can either hit the button on your cabinet and it'll automatically populate it, or you can hit the key on your keyboard and it will automatically populate it. So depending on how your um, cabinet is set up, if, it, if the cabinet is set up to where your buttons are like uh, being uh, set up like a, like a gamepad type thing, basically it would just hit your button. But if you're using something like Joy to Key or something or uh, some sort of... Um, you know, keyboard emulation type thing, then you would want to set that up based on the keyboard. Uh, it's really, it's uh, it's entirely up to you on how, how it's set up. So everyone's systems could be a little bit different. Uh, I don't understand the purpose of this whole coins thing. I, it doesn't do anything with your emulators. I, I, I remember reading something about it. It's supposed to, I don't know, give you the, the thought of adding... I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't know the purpose of it. Um, Dolph, of course, is if you're if you have those uh, you have those options set up in your cabinet, and then you would have to. You know, it's not going to hurt to leave it enabled, even whether you have it or not. So it doesn't matter. Folders. This is where if you need to change your uh, folder structure, 
Uh, if you have, if you want to have Pinball X and Pinball Y installed on the same system, you can share the media, which is kind of cool. Um, fonts and color. Uh, fonts, there you go. There it goes. Loads up. So this is basically where you can come in, you can change your font colors, uh, and basically you can change your style and your size. You, you can really go nuts over here if you want. Um, I'll do something simple where I'm just going to come in here and uh, choose a different font. Um, let's see if we can find, find something I like. Oh, all right, we'll do the sci-fi here. Sci what you want? Sci-fi out. Ah, we'll do the regular. Uh, we'll do the outline one. We'll see what it looks like. All right, so I'm going to choose a sci-fi outline, and I click apply. And you'll notice that, hey, everything now is just like sci-fi outline. I don't like that at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's find something else to change it to. Uh, let's try Rockwell Extra Bold here. We'll try that one. That's, uh, ah, that's actually not bad. So anyway, so that's what you would do. So as you can see, it changes your fonts uh, for your system. Uh, game launch, uh, basically... Um, this is where you can, uh, well, you can hide the taskbar when a game is running, which who would, who wouldn't want that? Um, the other thing is, is this is where you can actually set. Uh, remember at the beginning with all those windows, uh, and you had like your DMD window, you had your topper window. Well, say like you want to have an instruction card display that's displaying all the time and it's instructions on, um, uh, and you don't want it to be unique for each game or each, you know, situation. You want to have a static instruction card that's displaying the whole time. So what you could do is this will turn, you could turn this on, and the instruction card will, will basically be on for, and it won't change for no matter what system or what table you're, you're running. Now you can set this setting right here, not, not only for the entire Pinball Y setup, but you can set it for the systems. As you can see, when I click on Visual Pinball X, you have that same option here. And you can also even, uh, when I show you the game setup stuff, you can also set it up for each individual game. Uh, so like if you want, uh, like, you know, I want the instruction cards to, or the, uh, say like, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example. Uh, like if you're running FX2 uh, and you're wanting to use like uh, uh, you like want to use like unique back, uh, back class images for FX2, uh, you can have that set up. Uh, it's a pretty good example. Uh, so, alrighty, on to onward. Uh, so here we got the uh, game wheel. Uh, so where it says enable underlay display. So that is, uh, if you can see my uh, mouse down here on the bottom display, this blue, like, round, half round thing here, that is basically the underlay display. As you can see, I can click on it and, you know, turn it off and it goes away. See how we, we lost that underlay? So that is completely configurable as well. So if you don't like this current underlay, I've seen some people that have, like, a mesh right here. Um, and or you can just have a solid, uh, solid color. So that's all configurable. I'll show you later where that's at. Uh, info box. So basically, this is where you know. Um, let's see. Let me come in here. Let me exit out here. And eh. So you see this info box here where it says nudge tests and calibration. And if I switch to my other table here, this info box. All right, so let's go back to options. So then we'll go back to info box. This is where you basically set up all this here stuff, include the game title, manufacturer, release, and, and different things. This is where you set up all of that. So what you want to have displayed. So if, if you don't want to have star rating, for example, you can uncheck it here and it goes away. Uh, instruction cards. So basically, these are you can actually set up what's called a pop-up instruction cards, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and you can have this is basically where you're saying where you want those instruction cards to pop up on. 
Uh, this is the log file that gets captured. So if you run into problems, that's what that is for. The media capture settings. This is actually a very, uh, very good setting. Uh, very good thing, especially if you're using uh, pinball wide to capture your media, which I recommend. It's it's actually pretty good. Um, so basically, you would say basically how you want things to get captured and after. So like wait for game to start. Um, like say you want you want to wait for 15 seconds, right? And then play field video capture. Well, you know, you, you know, this is basically if you want that user, you got your play field audio capture, um, back glass image, back glass. So play field, you know, this is where you do all your stuff, your settings and stuff. So, um, so for this, I, I don't care much for this. Uh, uh, so like we're going to do video and stuff like that. So I, I don't care about this manual start option. So I'm basically going to disable all this manual start stuff because I just don't like it. Um, and then basically you have the uh, the stop keys and then see where it says two pass video encoding. Um, if you have a lower end system, uh, uh, heck, even if really if you have a higher end system, it's actually a good thing. It's a good thing to use no matter what. Uh, it gives you, uh, it's more or less guarantees your videos are going to be captured really nice. And uh, so far, and then everything else is pretty much, you know, use your, you know, depending on what audio device, you know, most people are just going to have this set as default. Okay. I hate that message. Uh, it pops up every single time. All right, so now we're into menus. So basically, this is turning on. You want you want to enable the exit menu, include the operator menu and the exit. So these are just some tweaks you can do. Um, mouse, you know, hide the mouse by moving it off screen. You know, I kind of you know kind of actually recommend you hide <laughs> hide the mouse by moving it off screen. Uh, real DMD. This is if you actually have a real DMD. Yeah, it's where you set that up. Uh, startup. So this is where you would have the. Um, you could set it up to where when the system uh, for you turn your system on, it automatically comes a pinball Y. So that's what this is for. Um, you can actually force some things if needed. Uh, you can turn off, turn on, and off the splash screen if you want. You can also run a command. Uh, so say like you got a script that you need to run uh, when it starts and when it ex exits. Um, you can also set those options up here. Uh, you'll notice that you got run before and run afters. So if you need to do that inside an emulator, that's where you do that. Uh, status line. So this is basically, you know, like for you know, your upper status line, and your loader status line. So that's, you know, the stuff down here. If you see underneath, uh, underneath the wheel here, you got this stuff here. Welcome to Pinball Y. So if you want to change that, you can say, you know, you know, I can say come in here and say, hello, YouTube, you know, YouTubers, right? You know, something like that and hit apply. And now it's going to say, hello, YouTubers. So, you know, just gives you a little bit of customization. Uh, we kind of talked about systems. Um, my recommendation, if you're not going to use the system, is just uncheck the enabled button. Don't don't actually don't actually delete them because you might need it later on. The last thing here is Windows, and this is uh, you shouldn't have to do anything here. Um, keep the DMD window in front. I I haven't had that issue in a long time, uh, but I I use Freezy, so that's why I haven't had that issue. Uh, keep the play field window in front of the other applications. Um, I haven't had that be a problem, but you can if you if you run into those problems, that's where those options are. All righty, so now I'll get into some um, operation stuff. It's kind of annoying. Um, so basically, you use your uh, you know whatever you have set up as your flipper or your keys or whatever, and that kind of allows you to go through it. As you can see, there's only two tables. You know, I got medieval madness and this nudge and calibration test. So uh, I don't really care about nudge and calibration test. So I have two options to get rid of it. Uh, one of the things is I can just remove it out of my 
uh, visual pinball tables uh, folder. Uh, the other option is inside pinball Y. Um, basically, um, you know, you start like you're going to launch the game. You know, so you got this is where you got you got your play. Uh, you got your game set up. You got your information. You can rate a table. You can add the favorites. And then these are like filters. You can see where that font is like a little bit. <laughs> it's a little bit too big. Uh, so that's something to think about when you're selecting fonts. So basically you can filter by various different systems, tables, and so forth, which is uh, that's pretty standard with all the launchers nowadays. So basically what I want to do is I want to go into game setup. And then basically I want to come down here where it says hide this game. And there we go. Now the uh, calibration uh, thing is gone. So we have uh, Medieval Madness and we have this uh, generic looking back glass. So if I want to get some nice uh, game images or whatever for it, uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you how to do the actual capturing uh, for this. So basically we click on the, uh, you know, in the buttons here. Let me go back and show you the options here real quick. So we got buttons. So you want to click on what's called enter or select, which I right now is mapped to just the one button. And you're going to be using the uh, return button to launch. These are pretty much the three key buttons. So you got the one for enter. You have to return to launch whatever it, uh, whatever you're looking to launch, and then anything, anytime you want to escape or exit, it's going to be the escape key. That's the way it's set up right now here. All right, so I'm going to come in here. I'm going to hit one, and then it's going to tell me game setup. Also, in case you're wondering, um, uh, the system might look a little bit laggy or looks a little slow when things are loading up. Uh, that's not that's not because of pinball Y. Uh, so first thing off is uh, I don't know if you can see this here at the top. I'm actually connected to my machine using Team Viewer. Uh, basically, it's a you know it's a remote. It's like it's sort of like a remote desktop uh, uh, setup. And then I'm also using a screen cap. I'm using OBS to capture everything. So that is uh, the combination of the uh, combination of this machine that I'm running this test machine. It's not a barn burner by any stretch of imagination as well as team viewer and everything else may make it look a little bit laggy but that's if I didn't wasn't running it it would actually run very much smoother. I actually have this running on a very low end. If you if you watch my uh, video on my uh, mini pinball machine I have that actually running on uh, all this stuff running on a very low end uh, computer and it's very snappy. Okay, anyways, we're going to go to Game Setup. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Enter. First thing you need to do is, before you can come in here and uh, you can do any of the capturing or do anything else, the first thing you need to do is do what's called Edit the Game Details. You have to do this for every single game, uh, you know, when you, after you set it up. So I'm going to click Edit Game Details. It pops up this little uh, window here. And this is where you basically, you can hit the little drop down box. And if you don't see your game right away, just start taking out some of the weird characters and stuff. And then usually it's going to pop right in. So you got the Medieval Madness remakes, which we're not going to do. We're going to select Medieval Madness Williams 1997. And then it automatically populates the uh, IPDB, the manufacturer, release, the system, and all this stuff. It automatically pulls it all in. And then here, this is where I was telling you where you can have things set uh, for each game. That's where you would set this up right here. All right. So we're going to click OK. And as soon as I did that, it automatically changes this to now where everything fills up real nice. You know, we got uh, Medieval Madness. We got Williams. Visual Pinball X, it shows nice here and everything. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit uh, uh, my one again here to enter into this uh, menu. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to select Game Setup again. And now I'm going to come here to where it says Capture Images. And tell you the truth, 
before I do that, let me whoops, hit let me change this font because this font is too ugly. It's too big. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go back into fonts. So you can see the danger of using a really large font. Um, let's, let's, do some, let's use something like... Uh, Let's try Arial Black. See what that looks like. Yeah, it's still a little too big. I don't think these. Uh, let's just use regular Arial. There we go. There we go. Let's we'll, we'll go for that for right now. It might not be the prettiest font that we can find, but it uh, it works. Okay. So now we're gonna go in here and basically. Uh, whoops. So I need to go in here to the operator menu because it's I already went through and tried to do the setup and it went away the game setup option. So now I'm going to go in here to game setup, capture videos. So now basically this is going to go ahead and say, uh, so we'll read this, it's capture process records the exact same area of your screen where your Pinball Y windows are located. Before we proceed, make sure that your Pinball Y window layout matches the screen layout of the game you're about to record. So, all right, so we're good there. Uh, you can actually, uh, at this point in time, if you want, you can skip this message the next time so you don't see it or whatever. You can just keep it. Click proceed. Now we're now we're uh, basically in business. So. At this point in time, we can come in here. We can we can go ahead and capture images. Uh, you can do uh, capture video. Um, basically, this is where you would want to set up everything. So I'm, I'm not going to capture video. So I'm going to go ahead and skip video, uh, mainly because I'm doing this here screen capturing, and I don't I don't want to bog everything down. Uh, we're not going to go ahead. We're not going to bother capturing uh, table audio. I'm going to capture that. I'm going to capture the back glass image. That's fine. I'm not going to do any back glass video though. Okay. So now we're going down here. We'll click begin capture, and now it's into the capture process. Which actually, what it do is it will launch the game and capture the video. At least that's what we're hoping it'll do. <laughs> Here it goes. Like I said, it's uh, not the fastest of uh, PCs. I might have to actually change my... Uh, yeah, you can see where it didn't... Alright, so there you go. So that shows you the... Uh, I need to extend that delay a little bit. So while I captured the... Uh, back glass it didn't capture the play field so it didn't give enough time for the media to go so basically I'm going to just go ahead and right click and go back in options again like I said this is uh, not the most powerful of machines here go back here to media capture and then where this says 15 we're going to basically we're going to bump this up to 25 seconds it might be too much, but it's better safe than sorry. All right, so now we got that, and this will uh, I can show you basically uh, what you would do is if you want to recapture your images, you would hit like your escape or whatever to like as if you're exiting the system, and then where you would want to go to here to operator menu, enter it. Then here's your game setup. Enter it again. And then go down to capture images and videos. And we had to hit our proceed. And this stuff will be automatically each time, this stuff will be set to skip. So, uh, and you also see where it says it's got the little explanation points right here. That's set more or less a system telling you, hey, we've already captured this. Uh, do you know that? You know, so that makes sure that, you know, you really want to recapture it, basically when we do so we're going to go ahead and click begin and now it's going to fire it off again 
hopefully that will give this system enough time to uh, launch and uh, and actually shoot, display the play field and all that uh, before capturing the image. And uh, I probably should have used a little bit of a lower uh, lower end uh, table to, to do my testing with because this uh, this is actually a 4K table and I'm running this on not a 4K system. That's probably why this thing is bogging down. I probably didn't choose the best of tables. Hey, there it goes. I actually got it. Well, there we go. Not the best of image captures, but hey, it's there. All right, so now we go. So now we have an image, and we have our play field image, and we have our back class image, and everything looks all pretty, right? And, um, you know, if we had more than one table, you would actually uh, see it, you know? So I, now basically, uh, I just clicked Enter to launch the table. And we'll give this thing some time. Yeah, we're going to give this thing a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> Just showing you basically uh, the launching process of it. Like I said, not a barn burner of a PC here. Looks like my DMD I have set up there in the window, it's uh, kind of off center too. Eh, I just noticed that. Oh well. Like I said, I threw this thing together at the last minute. So there we go. There we go. We got uh, Medieval Madness. It's all set to go. You know, I can come in here and. You know, add me some coins. Uh, you know, launch a game. <laughs> Hit exit, and it more or less exits the game. And so, as you can see, it exits actually very quick. Uh, so that's kind of nice. That's very nice. So now, the 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 last piece uh, after you capture your media, the last piece you're going to want to have, of course, is a uh, is a wheel image. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're gonna sh I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, right click right here on the play field area and exit out of full screen. And I had some media. You recall I had uh, up here in pinball files I got my media. And I just how happened to have a medieval madness wheel here. So I'm going to just take this guy and drag it over here. I can either use this as my play field or my wheel and then just drop it and voila. That's all it's to to get a wheel image. And we're back to full screen and that's it. That, I mean, right now this is, uh, I got one table in here and uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit pinball Y real quick and we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and download another table so I'm going to go ahead and open up Chrome and, uh, and just off the top of my head I, I uh, got a uh, I'm going to download uh, just a, a simple a real simple table so you know, Freedom VPX. I'm just going to Google that. Uh, Bali Freedom is the pinball machine. So here we go. We got the EM version right here. Um, so that means I don't have to worry about a game ROM or anything like that. Um, if you're wanting to know about, <laughs> wanting to know everything about what I have to install for tables and so forth and so uh, I recommend reading, uh, watching the uh, Terry Red videos once again. But just so you know, uh, there's a lot of great websites out there for uh, virtual pinball tables. V Pinballs, one of the popular ones. VP Forums is a good one. Uh, World of VPX is just a uh, it's a good reference for like finding tables. It has links to tables, but it doesn't actually have any tables. Uh, the other one that's really popular is VP Universe. Those are each one of those you have to create an account. Uh, so I recommend if you're going to being this hobby, you're going to want to create accounts for all of these. Okay, so we're going to go into uh, V Pinball, and as you can see, I got the Freedom, I got the EM version here. Um, and this looks pretty nice. 
Um, I myself, I'm going to have to actually log in. Okay, and uh, so we're lo I'm logged in now. And now I got the download link. Click download. And you have all this nice good information about the table. You want to keep all that info there so you know where, uh, what version you're running. Go to your pinball files, tables, VPX. And uh, see, I got this, these are the ones I got already. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that table. All right, so that gets me the table. Let me go here to my files. Go here to my tables. VPX. Um, one of the other uh, programs that uh, Terry Red's going to say and I recommend is getting 7-zip. So that way you can open up these zip files. And, uh, yeah, so this already actually has the B2S right there. All right, so uh, I'm pretty much ready to go ahead and load this into my visual pinball tables. So basically, you just come in here, take both of these files, just drag it right here into your tables folder, and voila, I just added another game. Uh, so the other thing I'm going to want to find, and I, I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't download that yet, was uh, we're going to want to pull in the, you know, Freedom, you know, B, VPX, you know, wheel, right? So we're going to go ahead and, uh, all right, here's a medium pack. So we'll just go ahead and pull down the whole media pack. And there we go. We're going to put that into media. Hit save. So when we go to our pinball files, media. Now basically I have the media pack here. It's a hyper pin, which not too many, uh, not too many people have used hyper pin. Uh, this is a future pinball, but it don't matter. It's all good. Uh, wheel image is a wheel image. So there we go. I pulled my wheel image out of there. And you can, you know, that's what that's going to look like. That looks nice. Alrighty. So there we go. We got everything set up. Now I can go ahead and I can fire off uh, Pinball Y again. And you know we got we can turn this off or on. That's the little launch uh, thing. Now you'll notice that when I got I come in here, I got medieval uh, madness and I have freedom. So we're gonna so it, automatically when uh, you put it into the folders the, that you need for the emulator, Pinball Y is gonna automatically find them. Uh, you don't have to do, go and mess with any game manager or anything like that. It's already there. So at this point in time, I just need to come in here and finish this up. I can actually, uh, you know, the first thing we did is, like I said, is you have to hit uh, one, uh, you know, or whatever key to get to this menu here. We're going to come in here. We're going to go down to game setup. Hit enter. We're going to edit the game details. And we're going to hit the little drop down. It should find it right away. Mm, Bali 1976, let's see. And that's the right Type, table type, the EM. EM stands for electromechanical, in case you're curious. Alrighty, and then there we go. We got that all set up. Uh, next thing you know, I'm going to go back into that same menu and hit that uh, same key, which is right now I have set up for one. And we're going to go back to game setup. And we're going to go down here to capture. And proceed. And then at this point in time, you can say what you want to capture, uh, skip. And you can actually uh, kind of adjust this on the fly. So like right now, 25 seconds is probably uh, too long for this title. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and uh, change that. Uh, we'll change that to 15. We'll, we'll let it fly there, right? 
So now uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to begin capturing. Now one thing I didn't do, which I always usually do, is I first launch the table um, in the emulator before I actually bother with Pinball Y. I didn't do that with this, so I'm hoping <laughs> everything loads up fine, because I didn't do that. Well, that's still taking a while, so yeah, so it's going to need that 25 second delay either way, because it didn't capture the play field. But they, you you get the gist uh, of what it uh, you know what I was kind of doing. So basically, uh, you know, we'll just go ahead and we'll j just that menu that timer up. Go into operator menu, game setup, capture. And it's back to 25 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and just begin capturing at 25. And this uh, this game might actually load up a lot faster if I wasn't running the uh, the remote desktop uh, option on this because uh, that does use up. That does tax the resources on this machine a little bit. Capture, capture, and voila. So, and then as you know, last uh, last thing we need to do is uh, we need to bring in our media, right? So we're going to go ahead and. And go ahead and open the file location here from the media, drag it over here, drop it for the wheel. And now we have our wheel image. And we're all set. So now I have two tables. And like I said, yeah, it's really, really taxing on the, uh, the screen capturing, really taxing on this uh, guy. It's like I said, I'm sorry if you think this thing runs slow. It does. It actually runs much more snappier. But uh, screen capturing is really bringing it down. All right, so that is pretty much everything here with inside the Pinball Y interface. So what I'm going to go ahead and uh, do is I'm going to exit the system and basically, uh, whoops, hit the, wrong, hit the wrong buttons and exit. Now, if you go into where Pinball Y is uh, installed at, you'll see a media folder here. And that basically, this is you have a thing here called startup sounds, startup videos. So if you want to have um, anything, uh, like if you want to have a video that plays right before you know your tables show. That's what the startup videos are for, and, and same thing for sounds. And then you also have your button sounds. This is if you want to put in unique button sounds. Um, these are your images you, you want to have set up unique and so forth. There's a readme file right here, and he and it basically tells you everything about this. So like here, if you want to have to change, like say you don't like the sound of the next and preview wave, so that's scrolling through the games. All you have to do is just go in here and button sounds and create, take whatever sound effect you want it to be sounding, call the one next dot wave and the other one, uh, you know, prev dot wave. You save it in this folder right here. And then when you launch Pinball Y, that's going to be your button sounds. So it's real simple to, to change, change that. All you have to do is just come in here. Like I said, he's, He's got everything outlined here in this image. So like here, remember the default background images? Well, if you don't like that ugly bulb thing with the play field and you don't like the that generic black, back glass thing, you can just save that and, and put in uh, some sort of PNG file or something like that and have something else there. So that's what all that's with this here whole 
basically. Uh, you can also do um, you can also do game launch videos and stuff like that. You can change all of that as well. So it's all it's it's, it's highly customizable, and, and it's all depending on what you really want to do. So let's see. Uh, I think I pretty much got everything covered. Um, and if I didn't cover everything, if you guys have any further questions or, you know, say, hey, Jim, you're completely wrong and you're an idiot, uh, feel free to put anything in the comments. It's entirely up to you. You know, I don't get easily offended. Um, like I said, um, one thing I will say is I, I hope uh, I hope it doesn't discourage anybody when they see, uh, uh, see the lagginess of the system on... Uh, on the screen here, uh, it, it's not that, that laggy. If you want to see what it actually looks like uh, not going through all this capturing thing, uh, watch my video on uh, my mini virtual pinball machine. This is not a, a shameless plug for my other videos. <laughs> um, but <laughs> basically that will show you what it looks like. And that's a very, um, uh, that's actually a lower, lower end system than this one. Um, I'm actually running this off of um, a Dell Precision uh, laptop. It's a very old laptop, but it's, 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 it's more powerful than the one that I'm using in that Mini. Um, so you can really see, though, you can see how uh, well it, uh, it goes through the screens. It's, it's not laggy. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, you found this video interesting. I'm hoping that I didn't droll on too long, and um, I'm hoping that I covered the subject pretty well. Um, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, if you have ideas for future videos or if you want me to cover uh, something more with Pinball Y, um, if you find Terry Red's videos uh, to not be helpful and you want me to cover something with Visual Pinball or something, so let me know. I can I can give it a I can give you a good video on it. But uh, I think, like I said, Terry Red's got it pretty well covered. Um, so that's all I got, guys. Uh, happy pinballing. Bye.